Thanks for joining us folks. I've got about five and a half pounds of clay here. And uh, I, want to I want to throw a sort of a jar. Let's see if I'm up for it. Woohoo. Yeah. Dee 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 dee. Lovely stuff, clay, isn't it? So when you get a big lump of clay like this, sort of wrap your thumb around it like that and bear down on it a little bit, you know? Compress it. See that there? Over the rim like that. Compress it. Good tip then. Keep it conical. Get the water there and spread it like this with your hands, you see? That spreads the water around. Okay, let's get down into the bottom here. We've got clay, we've got to get up. So using a, a knuckle lift, First few pulls like knuckle lifting it because you get more rigidity you see with a knuckle lift. So you notice I'm lifting, when I get to the top here, I don't follow through right to the very top. You see, I'm, I'm just leaving a bit there, you see. It's always, you know, when you get to the top of a pot and you suddenly find, yikes, I've not left myself enough clay. So, you want to... Bear that in mind.
just something, a thought about knuckle lifting, and that is you don't have as many nerve endings in your end in your knuckle here as you do on your fingertips. So think about that um, in relation to feel what you're feeling you see through the end of your fingers which I'm not when I'm knuckle lifting so knuckle lifting is good I think when you are in the initial phases of trying to lift the clay but now I'm going to go I'm using my fingers because I want a bit of feeling there See? My knuckle doesn't give me the feeling. It gives me more rigidity, more strength. Okay. My throwing stick. So this is going to be trimmed, of course. So just stick, stick the bottom down there, but you know, we haven't got to do a lot of, and this is going to be uh, cut off and then lift it off Yeah, so this form will be trimmed. Yes, sirree. Okay. Okay, dokie. Okay, let's take our cut off wire. All right, clean it. Okay. And with the wheel slightly going around, just cut through like that. Now we're going to need to put something, I don't know if that's going to work, you might just come off, oh, a stick you see, Duh. so, Gotta be careful about that. You see, when he jerks like that, you can make the pot go out of shape. Ooh. Did I knock him out of shape there? <laughs> I guess I'll find out when I put him back on a wheel. <laughs> okay, I'll just rest him there for now. Okay, so that, that, that's, that's, that's the procedure. Thanks for joining us folks. I'm going to be trimming this using one of these kind of strap type um, trim tools just to, just to show, just to show you. Um, I do offer these now, in fact we're doing a special offer, one of my regular trim tools plus one of these and it ends up you get it about four dollars cheaper. I think there's a couple of bucks off each tool. So if that interests you go to my website, my Etsy shop and I'm getting a load of tankards through the kiln. <laughs> ah, yes, and um, so go there probably towards the end of this week. At the, I'll be firing around about the end of the week. So, okay, join me for that. I'll be around. Um, if anybody wants me to come and teach a workshop in your locality, wherever you are, don't hesitate to give me a call. We can talk about it and I'll tell you what my rates are for doing that, etc. So, you know, it would be nice to leave frozen Pennsylvania for a few days to go somewhere warmer to teach a workshop. But if it isn't warmer, just somewhere different, that's fine. Uh, give me a write to me, Simon Leach, 
pottery.com or you can write to me at Simon, uh, Simon Leach Pottery at gmail.com. Okay, hey, thanks for joining us though, and hey, keep practicing. That's the secret. See you soon. Bye bye. Dee, dee, dee. Yep.